You know, see, I should have done something like this. This guy's smart. He knows what he's doing. My man, he's still here. Check it out. Not a bad idea. This morning was a busy morning. Had to get up early, figure out what I'm going to do today. Probably going to go to the Library of Congress and just go from there. You know, there's one thing I wish I had done, and that is bring my penny board or long board because getting around would have been a lot better. All right, we were probably going to be going here, here, here and here. Got my card and my ticket and we're ready to go. Let's go. Every time I'm walking around, people are like, what's going on? You know, they don't know what this thing is. This right here is the Graphical Arts Museum in the basement of the Library of Congress. There's a lot of historic cartoons and paintings. And keep in mind, these are the real drawings, paintings, colorings. This is the upstairs. Another crazy thing is the ceilings, up on the ceilings. You have so much symbolism. You have it everywhere. You have you have leaves, birds, books. You know, you got paintings right here. This book, the Giant Bible of Mainz, was written in 1453. This book is older than when Columbus sailed. And here is the main area right here. Look at the ceiling. Look how crazy that is. That is insane. I have no idea what the statue even means. And then all of the... All of this going up. You know, what does all that mean? This is so cool. Coolest place. Right now we're headed to the main reading room. Let's check this place out. And this is the main center. Of course, we can't go down there. You've got a viewing room right here. All right, so books with green ribbons are original copies that Thomas Jefferson actually owned. So I, I think it's a little hard to see You've got green ribbons here. These are all green ribbons. And you have a ton of them, as you can see. the Supreme Court building and trying to find it. As you can see, there's a lot of buildings out here and I'm not sure where I'm going. Okay, I just wanted to say, look how big these pillars are. Those look like they're like 60 feet tall, but it's crazy. And they're all made out of granite. All of this is made out of granite. Even these statues. So cool. Botanical Garden at the Capitol. Let's check this out. It's got a lot of flowers here, a lot of 
I don't even know what the heck that is. Thank you. Little pumpkins, I didn't even know. Those are pumpkins. I've never even seen those before, what the heck? Look how cool this stuff is, guys. I kind of wish this was like my house. The tropics. Let's check out the tropics. Holy smokes. Look at that stuff. That is so tall. Oh, and then you got misters coming down. A little mist. Some tropical vibes up in here. I honestly feel like I'm in the freaking rainforest, but I'm actually just in the dead center of Washington, D.C. That's some crazy stuff. I wasn't expecting this. I was just expecting like, I don't know, just a little, a little bit of cool stuff, but nothing, nothing like this. They even have bird soundtracks going on, so it sounds like the rainforest. Oh, no fish. You get just all these trees, you know? I think this is even a banana tree, check that out. Yeah. That's a banana tree. Huh. Maybe I should get one. Wow, well, any of you that have not seen a banana tree, there you go, that's your banana tree, and your bananas hang right here. That is, I don't know why, but this is like my favorite tree right here. It's just long and skinny, and all the way at the top, then it's got its leaves. I just think it's so sweet, hanging like a hammock there and everything. I've just learned from someone who works here that this whole entire statue, including all the other ones, are made out of leaves. So that's pretty cool. He's running. So what would you highly recommend for someone who's only here for three days? For three days, what to see? Do not miss Smithsonian Aerospace. Do not miss Smithsonian Natural History. Do not miss the uh, National Gallery of Art West Building. I would recommend those. Awesome. Very much. Sweet. Very much. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. You have a good day. You too. Enjoy your stay. Well, the best thing you can ever do is ask the locals. If you're, uh, if you're bored and you don't know what to do, you can just ask them and they'll open you up to a world of opportunity to go have some fun. I think I want to ride in one of those. Those things are freaking awesome. One thing that I do not like about going through all these museums is every single time I have to take off my backpack, take out my camera, turn it off, set it down, and they have to check everything. That's the only downside. So if you're ever taking a camera, prepare for that. So this head can attach to this. That, that's it. Just the phone. It looks scary, I know, because it it's like not it's something you see every day. But... Alright. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Well, okay, I guess that's it. So, look at nowadays unmanned versus 2003 unmanned that's crazy they have their little panasonic computer down here your wires now it's even it's even more simple than using that to fly one of these things and that is the crazy part i have always thought how these wings come in and fold in i've always thought that's so crazy you know that's world war ii tech and they could do that versus you know nowadays tech your planes can hover check out the size of these F1 engines. These engines are freaking huge. I was like, holy crap. If that's bigger than all that I thought they were, and there's like there's like five of them. Five launch vehicles on each one. One thing learned today, do not take an Osmo, a tripod, or anything long, including your arms, to the Aerospace Museum because they will compensate them, I swear to you. They made a huge deal about it, and it was pretty darn pathetic, but 
They said, yeah, it's a hazard and everything, and it's dangerous. Agent Little J. Agent Little J, guys. With all these buildings, this one, this one, that one, I honestly have no idea what they are. Check this place out. Right? So big. It looks like a castle. I think it looks like a castle. I mean, look at this walk-in. This walk-in's crazy. I mean, seriously, look at that. It's crazy. Building is crazy. So I get over here, and I realize this is the spot where you can see the Capitol. You can see the National Monument. And then you've got the ancient castle Smithsonian that looks freaking awesome. Your carousel and then your other museum over here. And I think that's where we're headed. And this is the famous museum where Night at the Museum was filmed. So let's check it out. And here is the National Museum. There you have it. As you can tell, it has changed a lot since the movie. Out of the whole museum, I thought this part was my favorite, right here. Check it out. Oldest evidence of human fossils, seven to six million years ago. And here you have the famous Rex, off of the movie. And he, I believe, is the one that they used in the movie. <laughs> Another lesson I learned is that half the day my mic wasn't even plugged in so I recorded a guy on a jazz band, missed all the audio, what's the point of that? I was talking to some people, I missed all the audio on that so another lesson learned, always make sure your audio is working, that's a big tip. We visited, we visited like eight different, we visited seven different buildings. So that was really good, really fun. I'm tired, I'm ready to go to bed. I got two more days of this.